What's going on everyone? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Ian Kay, where today I'm over at Taco Bell because it looks like a fan favorite menu item is getting the flaming Hot Cool Ranch treatment for a limited time only. That's right, and you already know what it is, so stay tuned because the Doritos Cheesy Gordita Crunch Flamin' Hot Cool Ranch is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Well, it's a mouthful of a title, but then again, this looks like a mouthful, period. Guys, feast your eyes on the Doritos Cheesy Gordita Crunch Flamin' Hot Cool Ranch. A very lovely situation of hefty Taco Bell goodness in my hand here right now, and I gotta say, I am totally digging the presentation with this one. There's lots of goodness on the inside, and you know we gotta break this one down first. Let's get into it. So working our way outside in, what we've got is that famous gordita shell. Nice and puffy and dusted with a little bit of flour. And on the inside, it looks like a three cheese blend. And that's actually what's separating the Flaming Hot Cool Ranch corn taco shell. I gotta say guys, definitely a lovely situation already. It's looking pretty nice. And of course it's dusted with the good stuff to add even more flavor to what we're about to get into on the inside of this one, which consists of seasoned beef, spicy ranch, shredded lettuce, and on the top of that, shredded cheddar cheese. So a very nice combination of Taco Bell flavors. And of course, with the flaming hot goodness to go with, with a little bit of Cool Ranch to try and cool it down just a bit. But even still, guys, a very nice presentation on this one. And I gotta say, it looks very hefty and it feels pretty hefty. I can't wait to get into this. But on the real, if ever there was a Taco Bell item that would benefit from having one of those sleeves that these are supposed to have, I think this one would be definitely it, guys, because there is a lot of stuff about to fall out the back of this one. As you can see, plenty of that spicy ranch goodness, but still very hefty. It looks very satisfying. It smells pretty satisfying. Let's not waste any more time. It's the Cheesy Gordita Crunch Flamin' Hot Cool Ranch, a mouthful of a title. Let's do it. Mmm. 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 Right off the break, that spicy ranch is doing it to me, guys. It hurts so good along with that seasoned beef. And then you get the nice crunch of the shell on the inside and, of course, the softness that I'm getting from the gordita shell itself. But, guys, a lovely combination of the good stuff over here at Taco Bell with a little bit of flaming hot action thrown in for good measure. It's not really so much hot as it is kind of cool, believe it or not. Because of the spicy ranch having a little bit of heat, it's still a little cool anyway. And I guess you kind of expect that because aside from the light tang that I'm getting from the ranch itself there, it's a little bit elevated, but then it kind of levels out just a little bit. But still with the flaming hot goodness on the inside and all the cheesy goodness that I'm kind of getting from the very top of this, so far it's a flavorful bite. Let's keep going in. Mmm. You know, I'm not really tasting too much of the flame and hot goodness with this one. I mean, visually, the shell looks really awesome and the color looks pretty amazing on this. But when you combine that with the spicy ranch, which is actually a lot stronger, along with the seasoned beef, I got to say that combination is a beautiful thing. And then naturally, with all the cheesy goodness on the very top of this, a very lovely situation. The nice doughiness that I'm getting from that gordita shell is definitely on point. And I'm definitely loving the fact of that soft crunch that it's got there. Very nice combination and the textures are pretty nice on this. Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to like this one, guys. I mean, how could you not with all the familiar flavors of Taco Bell on the inside of something very, very tasty, yet crunchy and soft at the same time? Considering I actually checked out the regular version of the Doritos Cheesy Gordita Crunch not that long ago, that was a pretty nice combination of cheesy goodness there. But with this one having flaming hot, the spicy ranch is kind of elevating just the overall heat on its own, as opposed to what should be coming from the shell. It could just be playing with my head at the same time, but what I've got here still is super flavorful. Let's go for one more bite and we're gonna get into some Diablo sauce, guys, because we definitely gotta do that. Hang on. Hmm, love that bottom portion. Nice and meaty. Yeah, definitely some good stuff. The spicy ranch is second only to the avocado variant over here, which I really dig. This is just really, really delicious right now. Okay, let's get into some Diablo sauce, guys. Take a look at this. Tattoos or it didn't happen. We're gonna give this one a shot. Let's give this a go. Get this one cracked in over here. Gotta be careful. I wish I had a little bit of a shell or something to kind of hold this. Hopefully that's staying in focus for you guys. There we go. Got it all lathered up with the Diablo goodness. Let's do it. Mmm. That is the ticket right there. A little bit more elevated heat. Now it's flaming hot. That's pretty nice. All right, so I see you, Taco Bell. You've got the official marketing going with the Doritos goodness with this one, and actually with Flaming Hot being a major addition to this on top of it. It's really more of the color for me, at least, because naturally having a red shell really stands out. But guys, even still, a lovely combination of the Taco Bell goodness all around with this. Just a lovely combination overall. And I gotta say again, if you love Taco Bell, and I have a feeling you do if you've made it this run to the review, you know exactly what to expect from this one. With or without some extra hot sauce, this is definitely a banging situation. So let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap the review up with the rating coming up next. But guys, again, another fun outing over here at Taco Bell with a very colorful and tasty item to go in on too. Let's do it. 
Well, I gotta say the color of the shell is really playing with my head right now because like I said, all the heat is primarily coming from the spicy ranch with this one and naturally with the Diablo sauce I just put on, that's a very lovely situation. But guys, all the classic flavors of Taco Bell on display for you as usual, but with a very nice color differentiation between the ingredients here. And I gotta say, it presents very nicely. On top of the softness of the gordita shell and the crunch of the taco shell as well, the brand name, everything they go with, it's a very nice package. And the price isn't too bad on this one either. Order ahead and pick yours up at our contactless drive-thru. Yeah, I do love me some Taco Bell. I gotta admit, every once in a while, what they do on the regular, they do very, very well, and I definitely enjoy checking out their stuff, in addition to the promo stuff, naturally, here on the channel. But guys, again, very nice combination of goodness on that one, and like I said, the presentation is pretty banging. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna have to give the Doritos Cheesy Gordita Crunch, Flamin' Hot Cool Ranch, a crazy mouthful of a title, a rock-solid 9 out of 10. Like I said, guys, the execution on this one was absolutely beautiful. The only downside with it is that the actual Flaming Hot flavor that you were supposed to have in this one is not really prevalent there. So for me, it's really more of the visual, the red shell naturally for what it's got, but everything else that it's got on the inside of that one, it was really, really nice. I mean, that spicy ranch lit it up big time. And while the cool ranch wasn't really pronounced either, all the combination of the flavors together gave you a very hearty bite and a very satisfying one for a little over four bucks. It's not bad whatsoever. All right, so do me a quick favor. For those of you who've already given this one a try, drop some comments down below. Let me know how your experience was with it. I mean, were you able to actually taste the Flaming Hot along with the Cool Ranch? Like I said, with everything that that one's got on the inside, I really wasn't getting too much of that, but the Spicy Ranch is beautiful across the board, so it meshes beautifully with everything. But did you actually taste the Flaming Hot and Cool Ranch? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. All right, Taco Bell, so what I'm thinking about you not having a taco tray or something to kind of hold this in like a sleeve is because you're probably thinking the gordita shell itself is gonna do the job to kind of hold all the crunchies together. But what about the back? You've got a lot of stuff falling out the back here and it's super messy. This definitely needs a taco sleeve, just like the regular Doritos Locos taco, come on. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.